What's going on, guys? My name's Car, and today I have a for you guys. I want to leave you Vuitton's most expensive and rarest key balls that they've ever put out, and that is the Prism Key Ball Bandolier size 50, item number M53271. I'm going to be breaking down all the details of this bag and going over if I think it's a good purchase or not. So, if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like, subscribe button, as it really, really does help out my channel and get my videos shown to more people. And while you're at it, make sure you claim your four free stocks on Weeble by clicking the link below. All you got to do is sign up, you get two stocks for free, and you get another two after your first deposit. So, without further ado, Let's get right into this review. All right, guys, so obviously we have one of Louis Vuitton's biggest dust bags holding one of their biggest items, which is obviously a size 50 key ball. It's just going to be a brownish dust bag right here. Um, it's going to say Louis Vuitton on it. It's right towards the top if you guys are able to see that. But just before I pop it out, I want to go over a couple things. First up, being that this bag retailed at $3,850. So if you live in a state like California or anything similar to that where taxes are really high, you're walking out of the store spending close to $4,250-ish after tax and fees, and obviously a little bit more if you're paying shipping. But if you guys were to go onto the site right now, at least the US site, you guys would not be able to find this bag. You guys can go ahead and look after this video, Louis Vuitton.us, and you can't even search and find it. But if you guys look on the European site, they do have it on there, but it is called to inquire. So good luck hitting it. It's extremely limited. And the few recent times that I've gone to the store, this bag has not been available. With that said, the current market of this bag is going to be between $4,500 to $5,500. The most recent sale on StockX was about $4,750, but I've seen sales on there as high as $7,000. You guys can go ahead and look on there right now. I believe the highest bid is close to $4,000, and the lowest ask is somewhere around $4,500-ish, which is pretty good. It's probably going to sell pretty fast. I know the most recent ones sold pretty recently, but keep that in mind as I'm going through this video that this is a very, very expensive key ball. So obviously we're just going to have to pop it out of the dust bag right here and boom, we'll have the beautifully designed Louis Vuitton Prism Key Ball Bandolier designed by Virgil Abloh himself. So obviously this looks extremely different than most items you'll see. Um, the material is different. The actual canvas is different. It's actually made of PVC if you guys look really closely and the color is considered iridescent, meaning that it's see-through, it's very clear, but at the same time it reflects different colors depending on the angle. So hopefully I can show you guys that throughout the video. You can see it's more green here and then it's more pink and then it gets a little bit more red. It is very, very beautiful, especially in the sun and it definitely does stand out. You guys may also notice that all the hardware, including the strap as well as the chain right here, is gonna be iridescent and a little bit more clear, especially the chain right here. This is gonna be iridescent, but since it's a little bit more thin, you can see through a little bit better. But the size of this bag is obviously a size 50, meaning that in length, it is gonna be 50 centimeters. But when you guys look at the height, it's gonna be about 29 centimeters. And then the width is gonna be closer to 23 centimeters. And as we get close to the top, you guys will see the little tag right here which obviously you can put your name I haven't yet this bag is actually pretty much brand new and obviously we have the double handles right here one on each side as well as the double ziplock closure so there's gonna be a lock inside I want to show you guys a few of the other accessories that this bag comes with so just give me a second Boom, and now that we got the bag open, I'll be able to show you guys the interior. But first off, I'll show you guys the little heat stamp right here. Obviously, if you guys can read that, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And then towards the bottom is where I have the other little accessories. Let me just find it as I'm looking through the camera. You're gonna be right here. And I'll just set this to the side really quickly so you guys can see it. It's just gonna be a way smaller dust bag. It says Louis Vuitton with the little blue handles right here. And let me just pop everything out and we have everything that I store inside of it. So I know you guys can tell I love these snap transitions. I'm definitely gonna be learning some more, but inside the dust bag, we had this little lock right here, obviously with the white around it. It is signature to this bag right here. They don't really give it out with anything else. I'll set that to the side and show you guys the keys. They give you two of them, which will obviously unlock it. And it's just a nice way of keeping your bag locked. So obviously right here, we have some room to lock it up. And if you guys look really closely right here, before I forget, it will say Louis Vuitton on this hardware right here. But getting back to what else it comes with, after I show you guys the keys really quickly, boom. You guys have this little stick right here, which obviously show the item number. I told you guys it towards the beginning, but it's obviously 153271. And this is obviously the bar barcode that goes with it. So sometimes they'll put it on the box, sometimes they'll just throw it in whatever you're purchasing. But they'll always also give you this little card right here, basically going over the materials used to create it. 
And obviously it doesn't really look like much of this is in English. So if you guys are able to translate it, you guys can go ahead and do it. I'm pretty sure it's because this bag, I think, was only released in the UK or uh, in Europe, but I'm not completely sure. I do not want to say that and then I'm wrong. I am usually completely certain on the facts that I share, but that is not something that I know 100%, but let me know down in the comments if you guys do know that. But getting back to the bag, you guys are gonna notice that it has a strap right here, which is obviously gonna make it a bandolier. If you guys look closely right here, and just look at the rest of the hardware, it is very, very detailed. They didn't skip over anything. Super high quality, even though it looks really fragile. I will go over some product care towards the end of the video. But we'll say we'll leave a time right here, and then we will have the strap right here, which is obviously adjustable. It is actually adjustable from 36 centimeters to about 50 centimeters. So depending on whatever size you are, if you're thin, if you're skinny, if you're tall or whatever else you will definitely be able to hang it low high or whatever you guys choose to put it and a little bit ago I showed you guys the little heat stamp right here um, the reference is obviously made in France but there are four different references to this bag it can either be made in France Spain Italy or the US so if you ever see Canada Germany somewhere else you guys can know right then and there that it is fake and then the next step after you look at the overall quality of the bag as well as the heat stamp you're gonna want to go ahead and look at the date code which if you look extremely extremely closely is going to be right here um, and a lot of you guys might not be able to buy it retail and that's why I'm going over these things you guys are going to have to buy it off the secondhand market if you guys really do like this item actually that's where I got it I actually had a buddy with a lot of Louis Vuitton and I really cashed him out I bought like six things off of him and he really blessed me with a good price on this one but when you guys are looking to authenticate overall quality heat stamp date code and send it over to pro authenticators a lot of the time with fakes nowadays the date code will be legitimate, but it's the actual font of it. And someone who is not a professional who's gone over a lot of Louis Vuitton will be fooled by these date codes because they look it up and it's legitimate, but it's this, it's just a legit date code that a scammer ripped off of someone with the real one. And then they just redid it over and you guys actually have to be able to look at the font, tell if it's real and everything else. So I suggest using a service called Pro Authenticators. A lot of you guys ask me to authenticate your stuff and sometimes I don't trust my own judgment, even though I know, but I just don't want to be liable for anything. So I do refer them over to Pro Authenticators or your service on Facebook, $10 an item. Extremely useful and my go-to for items where I am not 100% sure on. So just a few things that I want to go over just before I close out this video. I want to go over some product care as well as my final verdict of this bag. And so when you guys decide to buy this bag or if you guys already have it in hand, make sure that when you have it on a certain surface that you guys are not dragging it off that surface. You guys always want to make sure that you guys are lifting it straight off of the surface so it does not scratch, especially towards the bottom. That's usually the first place where you're going to see damage on a handbag. And also make sure that you're not setting it on anything abrasive at all because a lot of you guys might be setting it on the cement and not really taking the best care of your stuff. And then you guys wonder why is it not lasting me a long time even though I spent so much money on it? Is it the quality of the bag? No, it's just that you're not taking the proper care of it. Louis Vuitton always advises people to not drag their items, not put them on abrasive services, and to also keep them in the dust bag. And also to keep in mind that for this specific key ball, because of the PVC material, you guys will notice that bubbles will naturally form, especially towards the bottom of the handles. And that is because when you're lifting this up over and over and over again, it is going to slightly pull from this material right here, which will cause slight bubbles underneath naturally through time. But it's something that is not very noticeable when you're wearing the bag and it probably won't happen for a long time but just keep that in mind that that is naturally going to happen but final verdict to this bag i think it may be worth it for someone that is very very passionate about louis vuitton or has a decent collection built up because it is extremely different than anything else that louis vuitton has ever put out i mean now virgil is designing a lot of pieces with a lot more color than before but still what else do you know that is made of the PVC material with such an iridescent color where if you're turning it this way, it looks green. You're turning it this way, it looks greenish purple. If you turn it all the way, it is a completely different color and you cannot see any green on it. I mean, what else is there out there that looks like this that Louis Vuitton has ever put out? This is an item where even if Louis Vuitton keeps its name as well as it is now for 100 years from now, most likely they're not going to have anything like this and this is going to be worth a lot more in the future considering that if you're lucky enough to find this bag online, you guys can still buy it directly from the store. So 
In my opinion, it's not a horrible investment as long as you get it for the right price and you're really passionate about Louis Vuitton. Think of it as putting your money into this bag and you guys can obviously pull it out whenever because there are a lot of people that would love to have this bag and that would be happy to buy it off of you. So don't always look at it as throwing this money down the drain, but just putting your money into something. Think of it kind of like a watch as long as you guys get it for the right price. But if you're someone that's just buying their first Louis Vuitton item and isn't really passionate about this and is deciding between maybe a monogram or a Damien Jour one or just like a classic like this one for example if you guys can see that. That is my Damier Azure size 45 bandolier. It's the same one, just a smaller size. It's a lot less expensive. This is going for about $5,000. That one is going for about $1,500. So is it worth the $3,500 difference? Drum roll. Probably not unless you are passionate and really have money like that because that bag, you're not gonna feel as bad wearing it outside um traveling with it but this one you really really got to be careful and it is a lot more standout so final verdict i think it's a great bag i think it's going to go up in value and i think it's a decent investment if you guys are passionate about it but if you guys are looking to beat up a bag maybe go for the other one unless you already have a decent collection built up but i just want to thank you guys again so much for watching this video my channel has grown pretty fast recently and i know really what you guys want to see and don't want to see at this point but still let me know down in the comments and keep sending me messages on instagram let me know what items you guys want to see on my channel i'm happy to bring them to you guys i really appreciate all those who have supported me to a thousand subscribers right now i'm almost at 1200 so again thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one